Okay. But there is another thing I, w- I would like to talk about is um, the struggle you have in your life in um, in football. It's just to tell people a little bit where you come from, um, how you were able to uh, to handle that, and what kind of struggle you really faced during your career. Well, first of all. Um you know, born and raised in Haiti, you know, um, uh, grow up in Haiti wasn't easy, you know, it was a really, you know, a hard part, like, which is a football, actually, football is the number one sport, you know, when you grow up as a kid, that's the number one, that's what you know, and that's what you see, that's what you see, your, you know, your uncle, brother, my father, um, playing, so that's the thing I play, but it wasn't easy for me, because me, from growing up, and, um, uh, sad to say it, but you know, today I just, you know, rest in peace to my dad. Um, you know, but I don't have a father figure who was there for me, and I pretty much was raised with my mom's first person that gave me, you know, a chance, you know, buy me a soccer boots to, to play football. Um, you know, well, 10 years old, and um, she left me, and um, then was thing was complicated for me, and uh, you know, my father wasn't really there for me. I would say, but um, lucky, and I have my, um, I have my grandmas, both my parent, my dad and my mom's side, both were supporting me, and they was there for me, and um, yeah, I got, you know, a hard time, you know, growing up in Haiti, and I moved to America, I remember, um, you know, trying to find, you know, my path was go to school, you know, just get the education and play football, because that's what my mom wants. Uh, I would say my father was from the same, even though we wasn't really that close, but that's what he wanted for me. But um, I don't want to let him down, you know, and I was just going to anything that could, you know I mean? My focus is not to let him down. You know, when you play for the teams, sometimes it's not, it's things, it's not really going to go the way you want it. But the one thing is that going to help you to move forward is how bad do you want to accomplish something. You know, it's not up to anybody. It's up to you how you want to make, how bad that you want it, you know. So for me, uh, I think I was always positive about things. No matter what come on my way, I see it as a, you know, as a test, you know. And then later on, I try to work it and make it a testimony. And my kids are my motivation, the foundation that I'm having in is my motivation because I'm always trying to find a, a solution and tell them this is what you can do. You know what I mean? So it's like, oh yeah, this is what I've been going through, and I deal with it. And then today, I'm, I'm, been, I'm been successful. So now, the older I'm getting, I was like, since the beginning of like you know, I've been playing football, you know, from from Haiti, moved to America, and then played professionally in different countries, and it's never easy. I'm always have to face something. I think that's what my life was built on, and I think that's what God put on my way. So it's never make things easier for me. And he's always make me that, he put obstacle in me because he know what I can deal with it. Because like we said in the Bible, and God never give you something you can't endure. You know, so he's always testing me and then it's just up to me now and to find a way. It was hard. Like you said, like I remember you told me, and you know you have to believe in yourself. You know you have to do what you're capable of and and move forward. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. Um, what I did all my careers, and I'm gonna continue to do it. And hopefully that um, after I'm done playing, I can have a story like Joseph Ando. <laughs>